guys. So I'm giving you an update on these waist beads um, that I got. These African waist beads that I got that has been really helping me curry my appetite. So if you want to know more about these beads and how they're made and what kind of stuff that we were, they were made for and all my, you know, pros and cons and advices and stuff like that, definitely stay tuned so we can talk about it, you guys. Yes, I've been having these beads since 2018, you guys. Um, and this is what it looks like. Uh, now, when I first got my beads, and I just ate two as well, so it might not look as low as the after picture because I just ate. Um, but when uh, 2018, I first got these beads. I got these beads from a seller on Amazon. And uh, we talked about it and stuff like that. Now, to mention, I do not remember the seller that I bought it from. Um, and she also was selling them on Amazon. And that's where I picked up mine on Amazon. I'll look back and see if I can find a, a little picture of some sort um, in 2018. But I don't think I will be able to. Um, and also, I'll probably just try to research. Well, I did try to research try to find these beads. But I don't even see the same beads um that i purchased from the lady but these are african beads i'm gonna actually take these off uh so i can show you guys um but yeah these are these are like a uh, little let me get you guys together so yeah these are little african beads show you guys here they have like a teal color a clear color and the rest is like hot orange on the screen it probably looks hot orange right now since i'm up close to it but yeah like a hot burnt orange color um and what it's made out of because i've been doing a lot of looking um this is like a really really uh strong string that um yeah, it's like a really, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a really, let me break up just a bit. Yeah, like a really strong string, not the clear string, but a white string. And basically on the ends, it just has uh, the little, um, I don't know what you would call this, you guys. So if you know what this is, a uh, little click clack thing to keep it together once you put it on or whatever. And then... Once you're done putting the strings on them, um, and you would basically, because um, I get a lot of questions about this, and want of uh, people want updates about this. So basically, what you do is you measure your waist really well, and like me, I have not measured my waist since I bought this. So I just go by what I see. Like if it's hanging, then I'll measure my waist. If it's still in the same spot, I'm not gonna measure my waist because I know that. You know it hasn't you know my waist hasn't moved or anything like that so um now it has moved to a little bit under my stomach before my stomach was huge like if you see the picture was like huge and um these beads have moved down tremendously since 2018 um so basically what you do is just get a uh, waist measure any kind of measure and measure your waist um the lady actually gave me good advice she said whatever you your measure come out on your waist make sure you up it by two sizes because sometimes you may gain stomach weight like especially like bloating and stuff you will gain some bloat weight or some water weight and you don't want to feel uncomfortable in this since it's not a stretchy material it's not a stretch material at all um and then also so you just measure your weight Go up two sizes, get you some heavy duty white string or black string. Or if you find a heavy duty clear string at Joann's or Michael, I know I look a mess, but hey, I'm a single mom and today has been that day. But I hope you guys have been doing good. And um, before you get to the end of this vlog, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, so yeah, but anyways, you guys. Um, you just get some strong string, like I just showed you, and get you some beads. 
You can also, like for the low, you can go to Dollar Tree and find some thick string, um, skinny thick string that you can put your beads on or you can get regular yarn, uh, regular string and double it by three, kind of like braid it or twist it together and make a stronger string if you don't want to waste like a lot of money at Michael's or Joann's um, because Dollar Tree does have string there and then Dollar Tree also have like these little cute beads there these beads are act, uh, actually African beads they came from Africa um, this was a black owned seller so that's why I bought it because you know I try to um, support um, any, any black white any any race I will try to support especially if it's a woman because you know it's girl power here um, and I try to support anybody that is trying to make it um, and then she also wanted me to do a review and she gave me like a huge discount off and if I tell people she will definitely like send me another one but I really didn't like get out there like that because I was just like really getting into my YouTube and stuff like that so um but yeah um just go to Dollar Tree get you some thick string get you some beads any color they don't have to be the same color whatever your flavor is you get your color um and uh, some or you can just like you don't even have to have this part you can just put this around your waist tie it up try to string up make sure it's secure and wear it um but don't tie it like really tight because you're gonna have to take it off apparently when you take a bath and stuff like that so um pros about this is that it does um let me see how i say it does um make you not want to eat a lot i noticed that um cons is that you don't wear this all day i've tried to wear it all day and it's very uncomfortable especially when you sit down and you have a thicker midsection like now um before um when i first got this i could not sit down i was very uncomfortable and i just felt like an uncomfortable person okay um, but now I wore this like all day today and I did not feel uncomfortable at all. Um, I ate with it on. So I think that for some good advice, if you're just starting out wearing the waist beads, um, to not wear this these beads every day. Um, give yourself a little time between days because sometimes you just... I don't know, like, when I first started out wearing it, like, I felt so freaking uncomfortable. Um, even, like, I tried to wear it all day. Like I say, I tried to sit at the desk and everything, and I just still felt very uncomfortable. And then also, um, as, for, as far as your weight, like, your your tummy going down, like, don't trust these beasts. These beasts are not going to help you with your, your tummy. They're not going to help you exercise. They're not going to help you eat healthy so um this year i went um well next week i'll be going because i was doing pescatarian in 2018 that's why my stomach started going down and i started drinking more water and more green tea so i'm gonna get back on that regimen but the only difference this year 2019 is i am going to be drinking more water i'm going to be pescatarian which i'm going to be like doing vegan options and then i'm going to be doing like um set smoked salmon and tilapia uh tuna like that and then i'm going to be actually incorporating um my planet fitness gym membership into it as well so i'm going to be exercising and working out three times a week with a trainer three times with a trainer and then three off so I'll be by myself and then the next three I'll be with my trainer if you get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working out three times a week and then hopefully by the end of the month, June, this is June, um, I will be down 15 pounds once I get to the end of the last day of the month. And that's my goal for the month is to drop 15 pounds because right now I feel so like disgusted and busted <laughs> with these big bazillas <laughs> so yeah but anyways yeah uh the pros for this like it does um help you not eat a lot 
Um, and I, I seen that today because today was like my first take like back with these and it's like I took a whole long break without wearing these. So I do recommend you not wear this every day. Don't depend on this every day. Um, and let me show you what else I do, what else I wear during the day as well. This has nothing to do with my waist beads. I just want to kind of throw it in there. And I think this morning, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I do wear like a, a belly. Um, um, it's not, it's not like a a snatch, like a waist beater or a waist snatcher or a sweatband. Um, but during the day, I do wear my. I don't think it is called a girdle. I think it's like called like something like a stomach presser because once I get like, if it's time for my monthly or I'm just feeling bloated or whenever I get depressed or stressed out, I get bloated, bloated. So I wear that to suppress my stomach in and keep everything together. And when I tell you it does the job of getting me unbloated and we are done here. It had me farting, like for real. It had me like passing gas. So um, once that all in and stuff like that, it, it feels so nice. I feel so good. And I, when I take my little um, suppressing thing off, like I feel so much better. I'm not bloated anymore. I, I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but um, my little suppressing thing is in the washer because you i mean apparently you have to wash it if you're wearing it all day and plus i sweat in it a little bit so yeah and then when i go to work out i do wear a waist um not waist trainer but a waist sweatband that i got at um dd's discount so i got this at dd's discount so it does like fit my stomach area. I'm gonna show you guys how it fits my stomach area. So, um, I had to adjust the camera so you guys can see me. Um, so I normally wear like another shirt right here because I don't like really like sweat touching me, but that's why I wear another shirt and that gets it like heated up a bit. So I wanted to line everything up and make sure everything is lined and I can get everything right. If not, then that's okay. So this waist, uh, sweat waistband really sweats me and it fits me right and it fits my midsection, um, right? It's not on correctly, but I wanted to, my goal is to make it, you know, light up, but, um, and also my goal is to get this part here so, um, I can really see like, you know, but it, it does cover all the areas over the butt. Um, this goes on top of my stomach, so sometimes I pull it down and let it go under my belly so I can sweat a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's how I, I normally put on my belly, like especially if I'm um, working. So yeah, especially if I'm working long hours at work, um, I definitely put like a, I used to do sweet sweat, but I don't like sweet sweat at all um, anymore because it really don't it really don't sweat my belly out. I really have to be in a gym to do that with the sweet sweat with the waist uh waist belt or sweat belt. <laughs> um, and then I also wear my beads too when I go to the gym because it's more better for me to see like you know I need to work on this and I need to work on that. I need, you know, snatch in these pro these areas or whatever. Um, I know my love handles have went down because they used to be like out there, budgy. I know my stomach has went down a bit, but um, I still need work. I still need to get it done. And like I was saying, like these beads or um, these are nice, but I wouldn't recommend to wear them on a daily. You know what I mean? Like I would wear them Monday. But Tuesday and Wednesday, I won't wear them. And if I'm doing like a hard cardio workout at, at um, Planet Fitness or whatever, I'm definitely not going to wear these beads because they are going to wear me like crazy. And I don't have time for that because most of the time when you wear these beads at a gym or anything, you steady pull them up or pull them up because you think something's on your, you know, on you or something like that. So once you, um, before you go to work out, I will wear these and then afterwards I will wear these. But as far as like taking baths in these, I've never took a bath in my, my African waist, be, uh, 
waist uh, belly beads. So, um, cause I'm so scared that they may break or something and follow the drain and I'm like, okay, yeah, I can't even give them like a monthly update, but I'm going to start giving you guys a monthly update on my belly beads just to show you guys where I'm at and how much weight I'm losing and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, definitely hit that thumbs up. Definitely leave me a comment below and let me know you're interested in the updates on my, my belly, um, my African belly beads, waist beads. Um, and you're uh, actually interested in like my workouts and stuff like that and what I'm eating, all that good stuff. Um, because I'm on a mission and I'm a single mom and I just feel like right now I need to get this weight off. Like I feel good, but whenever I look at my breast, like I, my areas that I want to fix and work out is, let me put y'all down. So my breast, I want my breast to be a little bit more smaller because see how this shirt just stretches out. I really want this shirt to be normal and fitted. I mean, it's fitted, but I have to make it, you know, fit um, my stomach area and then my inner thigh just a bit and my arms. Um, my face is going to, um, my face is going to basically slim out. Um... <clears throat> my face is going to basically slim out once I start getting into the workout and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm really excited, you guys. And I I would recommend uh, these beads. Not my beads because I, I definitely don't have any more information on these beads. But if you find some on Amazon, um, you just go to the search box and you look up waist beads, uh, African waist beads. And it should pop up. Or you should, if you want to make them yourself, like I said, you can go to Dollar Tree for the low. Get some strong string, some beads of your choice of color, um, and something to clip it with, I guess. Um, or you can just tie it up as a bow on your, your belly or whatever. Uh, because these are yours. These are your personal beads. And nobody really is going to judge you. And if they judge you, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? A-F, Okay. AF, okay? So, uh, it's all good vibes here. I love you guys so much. And I definitely got to go um, because it's getting late. As y'all can tell, it's getting late outside. And I got to shower. Oh, my gosh. But my journey with these beads, like I say, I just started back wearing them today. And I was actually surprised at how far my stomach has came, has come um from 2018 because boy let me tell you i was very uncomfortable in my skin but like i said you just need to eat well drink a lot of water drink a lot of green tea and push yourself stay motivated i'm gonna be pushing these videos out so you guys stay motivated we can motivate each other um and yeah so stay tuned support my channel you guys and i love you guys so much and yeah, I'm about to do me a really quick facial mask. I found me a facial mask in my little mask box. Um, but yeah, you guys, I have so much that I want to share with you guys. And yeah, I just, I'm really excited about my, my journey this, this month. And I'm going to continue my journey until I get to my gold uh, weight. And not definitely not my hospital weight because I was like 135 slim thick. I definitely want to be like at least 160 slim thick or thick thick. Okay. But less breast, less inner thigh, less arm jiggle, and you know, less back fat. Okay. I want to be at my best. So, anyways, you guys, I'll see you guys later. I love you. Bye.